Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're with Amira Salon from amirasalon.com. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to the channel, all the new subscribers. I just wanna say I wanna give you a heartfelt thank you, little heart for you, and I love you, and I'm just sending out you out lots of beautiful peace, blessings, and serenity. Uh, I did. Uh, we came up to 50,000 subscribers, so I'm very happy to celebrate that with you this week and this month moving into June. These are your June readings. I'm going to freestyle and just see what comes up with these readings this week. I might do love readings and a little bit of a combination of something else as well as who is your future love partner mixed into the mix. Just a couple of small announcements. I've done a video about how to book a reading with me or one of my psychic team members and what we have to offer you. The video will be linked at the end of the, this video for you to go to and uh, I will be doing some workshops at some point in time internationally possibly in Dubai in Europe or in Thailand uh, so just keep posted keep tuned and I might be sending out a newsletter to those people who are signed up for my newsletter on my website all the information to connect with me is on my website amirasalon.com and I just want to send you lots of love and blessings moving into this beautiful month of June for summer in the Northern Hemisphere and for winter in the Southern Hemisphere and hope that you've made some beautiful blessings and wishes for the last new moon in Taurus which was a very potent new moon and I've done my beautiful um, manifestations. I have audio downloads on my website past life regression etc which are very helpful for manifesting many different things in your life so you might want to check those out my cards are on sale on my website as well. So have a beautiful June moving forward. Timing can be flexible for each uh, reading that uh, each individual person that looks at their particular reading. I do recommend that you look at your sun, moon, rising sign, and also sometimes people like to look at their Venus sign as well. So here are the signs, everybody. Hi, Libra. Let's have a look and see what's happening this month. June, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What's going on? Okay, the world. Okay, your world's opening up. The world is your oyster. Also, maybe something international happening to you. International themes, wishes coming true. You might win a trip. Okay, wishes coming true. Feeling really good, Libra. You might come to a completion around something. There's some sort of completion going on. There is um, a new start, a new journey, whether it's to do with a son, a younger man or female, young male or female, or a marriage, partnership, relationship. So you might be wanting to travel and putting it out there just to go on a holiday or something and you might actually get it, okay? I feel like the tides are turning for you, Libra. There's a lot of really positive energy here with these cards feels like you're leaving something that you've been doing and you're moving into uncharted territory but smooth seas, smooth seas ahead of you. You're going with somebody as well. Somebody's offering you a cup, offering you a cup of happiness, offering you a cup of love. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. There could be some responsibilities around this person or around their father or... There's responsibilities coming to you through a boss or a father figure. A father might be asking you for help or assistance or you feel burdened by some responsibilities to do with a male figure in your life. Could be a, an elder brother, father, father-in-law, um, even a husband. If he's an older man and if he is also fairly authoritarian, he could also be an Aries. Capricorn or Taurus. Okay, you've got lots of marriage cards here. This responsibility could even be just the fact of the responsibility of a potential marriage coming up for you. Yeah, just that sort of sense of responsibility of a marriage. Let me just check the lighting. No. Okay. So... Yeah, it could be just that. So somebody's offering you a cup. Could be 
a cup of an offer of marriage, an offer of a serious relationship. Could be a business contract as well, if this person is a business person. So looking like it's a quite an important month moving forward. There's some sort of importance here going on, Libra. And also you're in a really good... It's a harmonious month for Libra because the sun in Gemini is harmoniously aspected to your sun. So it's a nice month. I've also got justice here too, so balance. Balance, justice. You know, the Hierophant and the justice to me often is a legal marriage for me. And then we've got this one, which looks like a marriage as well, or some sort of an offer. Somebody noticing your talents, getting married, or somebody um, showing off their talents to people who are watching and earning money for it. And it's not pole dancing. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, so. No, it could be also getting married, because this is very church-like, so is this one. And then you've got the legal card. So you could get a, so a lot of you Librans might get a proposal, a surprise proposal. You might actually push a marriage forward or through that you've been thinking about. Okay, you might be confused about it. Could be with a Cancer as well or a Pisces. Pisces, the moon always reminds me of Cancer, but it's Pisces card. Or another fellow Libra. What else do we need to know here? Okay, there's, there's money being sorted out, money being distributed. I'm picking up through this card. Somebody's distributing money and finances. This relationship could also be financially beneficial to you as well. And the King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Let me see what else. What do we need to know about this money situation? It could be just like the money is starting to come in because it's a very money feeling card. Okay. Okay. So the money is starting to come in. You might be thinking about taking a big leap of faith and going somewhere new. There is a possibility of moving immigration for some of you as well. Some of you might be immigrating, migrating somewhere, moving somewhere or just going on a trip and or getting offered something quite big to move and move and kind of shake up your whole life could also have another person coming in around you who is a fire sign so an Aries Leo a Sagittarius so there seems to be quite a few you know people here but they could also be the same person that's what I'm feeling around it heartfelt connection coming through with offers and big things. You're, it's like you're, you've been wishing for something for some time. Okay, Libra, and it's all coming together. So this can also be similar to the, the Emperor, which is the Ice King. He's, he's offering the diamond, the diamond ring. It's the Ice King. He's an entrepreneur. He's a boss. He's a manager of something. He's a father figure. Even if he's young, he could be an entrepreneur, young, or a manager of something at a young age, okay? Meeting somebody through your work. It could also be that he works with gemstones and crystals or jewelry, or you're working on the relationship, but you might be working on a diamond here. There could be a diamond ring getting crafted for you, like a specific ring being made for you. That's interesting. Or you're making a ring for somebody. Okay, you feel that finally karma has been released and you're able to look at things a lot clearer, a lot less emotionally. You feel like there's doors opening, there's new opportunities coming through, there's better communication flowing. You're getting something, you know, you're getting more of a flow. There's communication either with your children or about children. So somebody might be talking to you about having kids or you are in contact with your children about something specific. And it could be to do with a contract, a union, a marriage. Somebody's marriage it might not be your marriage, but it could be also you're in touch with them about some, some, someone's marriage. And it could be their marriage or their relationship or somebody that you know, that the family knows. 
what well, you're talking to them about your marriage, your marriage situation with this person coming in. It could be just hot gossip. If you haven't met this person yet, then you can meet them through work. You can meet them through hearing about someone through the grapevine around your neighborhood, around where you live in the same building or block where you live. I'm picking up a T, like a Terry, Troy, Trevor, T sounding name, Terence, first or second name. For some of you, it's going to relate T. Okay. So this is about you taking back your control around something. It could also be if you do have a teenage daughter or a young daughter, it could be about her trying to control things, bring things back into alignment. If, it, if you don't, then it could be you. You could be the young female up to the age of 29. And she also is all about creative things, music, fashion. You could be getting back your creative control over your life. This is what I'm picking up, your creative control. So you might be designing something too, Libra, if you're a designer or an artist. You could be designing something or just redecorating something, uh, doing something around the home even that is going to be, you know, something that you're in charge of. You could also be just designing a temple or some sort of like ritual, ritualistic platform in your, in your home to create like a nice corner or a garden or something. Okay. There's definitely travel is in the air. This could be honeymoon too, because the travel card is often the honeymoon card. So it can be a honeymoon after the wedding. Some of you Librans are going to be married. Some of you are going to be going on a honeymoon. Some of you are going to be planning children, family, honeymoon, uh, romance. Somebody, I feel, is going to come in and sweep you off your feet. Always bear in mind that these readings can be time flexible. So you might be getting the message now and it might manifest later. But you did have the wish card. So whatever you have been wishing for, is highly likely to sort of fall into place. This is one of the best readings so far, Libra. Really, really good. Let's just have another look and see. Yeah, you've got the wish, the wishes here. You've got the wish card here, the Ten of Cups. Happy family home. Sorry, no, that's not wish card, the, the Nine of Cups. And also the Ten of Cups, happy family home. So if you have been wishing for that, that's bound to come in for you. Bound to come in. On a wing and a prayer, I'm picking up as a message through that card for you. On a wing and a prayer. You've got offers. You've got great things coming up here. Offers of marriage, offers of relationship, offers of contracts. You know, that are going to take you far and wide. Legally bound contracts, you know. So, and you have the emperor under here. So you're moving forward. You're moving on with this emperor. Yeah, something about him and you moving forward, okay? And you could be the emperor. You're moving forward with somebody. Could be the young female, if that's who you're looking at. So lots of love and blessings, Libra. That's a really, really nice one. All the best for June moving forward. Take care. Ciao for now.